So this is gonna be a sad video. My older ferret is uh, pretty much dying. He has been dying for the past uh, several months, I guess. He's kind of at the point where uh, he barely moves. Uh, his name is Muscat. And uh, he's very, very skinny right now. Basically, over the span of uh, past month, he's been degrading in his uh, eating habits, drinking. His back legs pretty much don't work much anymore. Uh, he can't get out of his cage. He, he couldn't for the uh, past two months or so. Basically, climbed the pet ladder. He doesn't have power anymore, so he stopped coming out. And uh, I kind of noticed slowly he stopped eating less, and, uh, or he started eating less and less. And uh, now he's at the point where I have this bowl here. Uh, yeah, lots of poo. That, that's because uh, he can't properly go here anymore. This is just uh, what's happening and I've been kind of cleaning him um, past week. So uh, he kind of lies down, he can't even support himself and uh, yeah, he's, he basically uh, marks himself with pool because he can't stand, uh, he gets himself dirty and tries to crawl into his cave there, over here, and that's kind of a, the result of that. He's almost 8 years old, supposedly they live 8 to 10 years. So he's kind of approaching his time. Tomorrow I'm gonna see that. Uh, I was gonna see if, if they can somehow do something about it, but uh, I kind of already mentally also been preparing myself uh, that I'm gonna euthanize him tomorrow. Muscat was a great little ferret. He was my little baby. We got him when he was four years old. I was married at that time. And when we came home for the next two weeks or so, he used to try to nib on the toes of my wife and uh, she was freaking out, screaming like a little girl. It was kind of fun to watch. But I had to discipline him after that uh, to stop doing it. He was totally unexpected. We just walked one day into a pet store and I was like, whoa, what is this? They let me hold him and he licked my hand and I fell in love. And the next day we came back and I got him. And then we sat down and like, well, what do you do now? How do you feed them? How do you play? <laughs> what are they? <laughs> it was a learning curve for sure. They're, I would say, kind of like between cats and dogs. In his first year, I didn't really realize that in a couple of years uh, my marriage would be kind of crumbling and the whole overlanding adventures was alien concept to me. I was really in a settling down mode, uh, expecting that maybe in a few years there is going to be a baby and uh, some, you know, I was just another guy. Uh, going parks, bicycling, uh, together we would take him uh, to the parks, uh, but we didn't even drive at that time. On like a few occasions we rented the car and joined camping or with some other people. And then it was turbulent process of divorce, hooking up together, separating, hooking up together again, separating, and in all of this in between time he was my little fur ball that I would cuddle to and he would keep me comfort. The reason I was so attached to him is that he was with me for 8 years through turbulent changes in my life completely from like a guy sitting at the computer then uh, all the way to this whole adventure overlanding lifestyle. Then came very busy times at work, I was doing so much overtime and uh, he was getting a little older, uh, I didn't realize with age they kind of start to become a little lazy but I thought I'm not giving him enough attention so <laughs> I went ahead and uh, got another ferret, uh, he was so cute, uh, his name is Misha and uh, yeah, uh, I just wanted uh, them to play together and after a while, after some adjustment, uh, they started digging each other and then under pressure of everyone around me that I've had for uh, past 10 years prior to the time finally caved in, got a driver's license and uh, quickly, within half a year fell in love, being 
able to be free, go outdoors. And got that Kia Sorento, which I uh, then used pretty much same year to do a, a road trip to Louisiana, two month road trip for all the national parks. And uh, at that time, uh, my parents had uh, Muscat and Misha for about two years, uh, I mean, two months. And uh, yeah, they were taking care of them uh, on my long trips. It didn't exactly have a whole lot of room for all the stuff, plus a giant cage, but I tried to take them camping uh, when I could in warmer weather. Uh, they were kind of digging it. I never really had pets in my life, Muscat was the first. And uh, just kind of recollecting eight years as I'm recording this video, it's, it's a little bit hard uh, to record all the memories rushing through. And then came full-on overlanding lifestyle. I totally got myself deep to a point where I see no return. And uh, the peak of that was these guys coming to me on a month road trip into Oregon. This is actually gonna be insert uh, after uh, this little speech uh, of footage from that trip. So you guys can enjoy it and this is for my memories. Uh, it was it was a pleasure willing with those guys if you want to check out what it's like willing with ferrets you can actually click on that uh, little pop-up in the right up corner to see the whole over oregon overland series van lifey kind of series muscat i'm gonna miss you my little buddy the way he's living now it's not really life and I'm not sure if he's suffering, he probably does, but he's always been a quiet ferret. I've seen videos on YouTube that when uh, ferrets are dying or suffering, they, they can be very loud. But uh, he's always been a quiet one. A little lazy too. So this is a video for myself, just to remember this guy. Uh, insert some photos. I'll uh, insert some videos from last year's trip when I took them out to Oregon and uh, his baby pictures. I do have younger ferret, Misha here. And uh, he is uh, three, three years younger, four, four years younger. So they stopped playing almost uh, pretty much more than half a year ago. So I'm gonna take this guy for a little walk outside his last walk. Not that he can walk, but maybe he can crawl under the bush. Just the last bit of nature. He can barely support himself trying to drink from this bowl here. Uh, I watched him past couple of days and he's struggling to just support himself too, like hold two, two front feet uh, to try to drink. So I've been trying to give him like soft food, like uh, some of his food melt down a little bit. And uh, no, he's, he's pretty much refusing to eat. So this is like... Uh, this is like the li liqu liquefied food for him. I'm not even really sure if he's gonna try to eat that. Try to leak or something. A little bit. But I tried it past several days. He just does it for like a minute maximum, like, like this, and then gives up. That's it. It's uh as much as he can walk. And uh, his back is a little wet because I had to wash him from the that pool in the cage. I guess when ferrets are dying, that's kind of how it happens. But you can see he can't really support himself. He just doesn't have power. And his back leg's been degrading over the past half a year. Slowly, like he started limping first, and slowly, slowly, he started to give in. That's it, that's, that's as far as he kind of can go. Slippery surface. So, my uh, back over here, where I live, I used to walk with him here when I was married. Well, after that too, I used to 
browse these bushes, him and Mushin. But uh, yeah, he's already shivering. Just put him in the grass, but he's not really going anywhere. Get back to walk. To walk. So, like, if I put him to walk, just he cannot. That's it. He's so skinny now. have a plan tomorrow at that. I'm gonna ask him to euthanize, uh, have a cooler prepared, I'm gonna put him in and uh, if I have time, but I was thinking of potentially uh, going camp, well I'm going camping tomorrow to take him with me in the cooler and bury him in the woods somewhere, but now I'm thinking maybe I should do it uh, in a forest here besides uh, my place, uh, neighborhood. Uh, so maybe like in the morning I'll just drive back home here and dig a grave. It's really kind of sad to see his impairment, but uh, he can't really go anywhere, can't really do anything anymore. Yeah, it's definitely hard to say goodbye to the little buddy. Right at the veterinary. Oh, it's time to go. So yeah, this is it. Uh, I talked to the doctor and she said uh, that pretty much yeah, it was his time. There's, there's not really much that could be done. I could do uh, blood work, but looking at condition plus considering age, uh, yeah, it was pretty much his time. So they just kind of wrapped him in a towel here. Uh, they couldn't insert uh, something into vein because he's so skinny now. So they, they're like, cast him. Uh, they basically said he's not gonna feel much, but it's more graphic, so it's like advice not to be present. So uh, kind of just waited outside. Ah, just making a, an M. He's a little grave for Muscat. Great little body fat. It's just a little forest behind my complex. This is a little lamb. Goodbye, little buddy. Hey, Stinky! Here. Hey, stinky. Say bye. Grab him. Grab him. Bye, stinky. Oh, so, walkie walkie with. Uh... Spirits. Well, the younger one is in the car right now. I can't do two of them at the same time. It's just uh, a little too much work. Well, yeah, it's just this one's chill. I can trust him. And then the idea after is to get to Ocean City. Uh, that's coastal Washington, South Washington. There is by, uh, oyster farm there, and also lots of uh, beach camping. Uh, so it should be. Nice chill there for a few days, maybe do a little bit of fishing. That sweet rig over there. It's nice to be in that position. Hopefully I'll be there one day too. Little guy does walkie walkie. No, don't go there. Don't go there. I, I need to walk with little guys. They had a very, very long road yesterday. Very long. Poor little guys. I'm gonna walk you right now. Well, I can't let both of them out in the grass. I'll take them in the grass in a little bit. 
So for now, they'll just play here. And they really wanted to get out of a cage. Yeah, buddy. Say hello. <laughs> All right, guys, chill, enjoy. Here we go, taking turns with the guys. I locked the other guy here, just like this for now. There you go. Let this guy roam around, because he's chill. The other guy is hyper, so this is much easier with this guy. Misha, Misha, oi. <laughs> I'm not using the right name. Muscat. <clears throat> they don't respond to the calls. I didn't train them well enough. But still. It's a little noise, something to attract attention. He is totally digging it. One thing about this area is uh, it's got wasps. Right, little guy? Yeah. Aren't they freaking cute? These guys are so cute. Mwah. Mwah. Yeah. Alright, first steps on the beach. Muscat, how do you like the beach, huh? Little guy. Yeah, freaked out? I bet you are. <laughs> muscat, 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 muscat. Oh, so good! I don't have to like really chase them. I can just let them roam around and poop. He's trying to jump up. I think he's a little bit cold. Actually, when I just took him out, he was sleeping, and uh, he's like started shivering they're too domesticated oh oh no I think he's going into or trying to go into engine bay are you cold guy are you cold let's go let's go little guy or maybe you want poo poo you want poo poo or you just cold here there you go No poo poo. Escape in the water. Run, run, run. <laughs> run, little one. Oh, I just put him in there. I didn't realize the water would be so uh, coming so close. Yeah? Having fun? See, I'm not sure if he's tired or if he's a little sick just did a little walkie walkie and uh, I don't know I didn't know what he wanted he wanted to just lie down maybe what do you want guy what do you want hmm? what do you want Look at this guy sleeping. Yeah. I still can't get enough of these guys. They're so cute. Even though I had them for five years, I still get charmed by cuteness. Yeah, yeah. Sleepy head. It's uh, it's actually normal for them to chill. Uh, they sleep about 18 hours a day. 
generally. Actually, I shouldn't be so selfish. I gotta, I'm gonna walk these guys. Okay, we have Muscat. Yeah. He's so chill. time with this guy and I gotta whew, I gotta pack some oysters buy them pack them and uh, proceed to some beach uh, you again doing a little chills on the beach go 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 Muscat go what do you want guy <laughs> Where are you going, little one? Oh, 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 poopy time. That was a poopy time. That's great. You're safe now. It's okay. The birds will eat them. They, they are not stupid. All the way from there, walking around, he is returning to the car. That's where he's going. He sees it, he knows that's where home base is. He knows. Mr. Chubbs, Mr. Chubbs, crawling along. Where are you going? To the car? What are you thinking? What are you thinking? What are you very thoughts? Yeah? You're almost there. No, maybe I was wrong. Maybe he's not coming to the base. Idiom, 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 пошли. Scott. Idiom. I think he wanted to drink, he just came over to me. Can I lie down near me? Like, daddy, daddy, I want something. I think, I think it's the water he wants. No, yeah, coming to me? Okay, let's go. Let's go. Muscat. Mus musik. Musik, musik. Иди сюда. Muscat. Yeah, yeah, change of direction, yeah, he's coming to the car, yes, 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 and here he is. Oh, that's so cute, I just walked uh, my Misha, the grey one, uh, all the way to the water and the wave caught him, just like Muscat last uh, yesterday, and I walked him into the dunes over there, and the guy actually started following me here and there, like, uh, after a while he ventures off, and then like I guess he gets lost or whatever Ooh, where the hell am I going he sees me and comes back to me crawls in my lap just kind of sits and wipes his head or whatever and like for for a minute or so or two uh, I'm like his little home base and then he ventures off until again too much far too much far and I, I, I keep calling him you know and uh, yeah he comes back again and then you know just now it's funny I'm like here pointed the finger like you need to go to the car 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 and yeah he's just like I'm walking towards the car or running and he's like following 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 yeah cute little suckers yeah Ferez need a little walkie walkie so I can, there's not a whole lot of space here to walk around with them but uh, this is good enough for now I just uh, gonna redeploy somewhere I actually lady manager came out and said uh, there is a pet store right in town so I'm gonna check that first before heading north Oh perfect, I'll get some vitamins I didn't take for my guys, so need that, this is the brand I use. May as well pack up a few um, treats, because these guys deserve it. Finally, I got some vitamins for them, and they absolutely love it. He's leaking away here, I'm gonna have to properly wash this thing. 
Ah, uh, it's gonna be a very little treat, plus uh, a couple of these once in a while. Uh, Muscat likes this, Musha doesn't really care. I'm gonna, gonna hang out here with them for a little bit, because I can't just let them go here, where is that dog? But I'm gonna go to the riverbed over there in a bit, like, because I kind of want to relax, so I'll one by one sort of let them walk around here. Right now, take my little time, kind of set up, cooking all that, and then hit the riverbed with them. Finally, a little break for these guys. Give him his vitamins and hopefully eating those treats. And you, you just want to play with bags. He was going for my mushrooms right now, so I put them up here. Sometimes they like to, I don't know, Dig packages, leaf holes, and like all the all the noisy stuff like this. They love to play with it. I just turned the fan on for Muscat right there working. Chilling, chilling under the fan. Chilling under the fan, are you? Yeah. You little guy. That's what I mean. These guys, they do love. To dig with vegetables sometimes. I got an onion over there. Right there. He's trying to reach. He actually took it out and rolled over there. Put it back. Yeah, you wanna you wanna grab? You sure you wanna grab that thing? Yes. He's chasing the onion. No, no. My onion. They sometimes do sleep in weird awkward poses. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna really get this feet to blow right into him. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Let him chill. He didn't take a soft spot over here by the pillow or here or here. He just had to go there. And they do that. He came for cuddles. Oh, yeah, tired too. Alright, you guys chill. Alright, I stopped. It's time to walk the ferrets. Misha was going crazy in the cage right now. He needs to get out. He wants to get out. Come on. Come, let's go for a walk. Come. Alright. Yeah, you guys are used to the little walks now. And then I'll do muscat after. Let's go. I know, it's not nothing special, it's just parking a lot. I am not even putting color in you. Be good. trying to go up that hill over there uh, uh, but I'm not gonna be able to grab him <laughs> hey you <laughs> I can't go there Muscat 
come. Alright buddy, lead the way. Where is home? Well, little guy is getting spooked here by all the ATV noises, truck noises. Quite spooked. Yeah, you wanna you wanna go up on the base? Come into daddy? Too much noise? He's like circling, circling the base. He's like he wants to jump up. Alright. Here. Maybe you don't wanna walk you walk you. Alright, go back to base. Well I did hear you wake him up sleeping. Maybe he's just like, whoa, too much crap for me right now. Yeah, you can, you, you just, he just pooped, so he's safe for another good four hours. He can just uh, chill here on a pillow, whatever, and uh, I'll be okay. Well, except peeing time, I, I, I'm not sure how often they pee. Uh, I didn't count that, I just know biologically, every four hours they need to poop. Pee is different, but I think you might have peed too. Let's grab sleeping Misha. He was sleeping. But he's straight to action, right away. Oh, oh. Mr. Cuteness. Mr. Cuteness. Yeah, I don't think Muscat is digging the whole travel thing. Like. He's okay with little walks, but generally he doesn't seem much excited. Well, he's kind of lazy. Still, he's, uh, I feel like he's more tired from all of this. Yeah. Yeah. This guy, however, I think he's digging, digging new experiences. Yeah, yeah, Masha. It's a little chilly here in the shade, actually. Finally, you're digging something. Finally. Dig. Dig some more. Dig, 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 dig. Yeah, good boy. Good boy, good boy. You're like a little doggy. Dig, 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 dig. dig. Come on. Yeah. Good doggy. First thing first, these guys yesterday barely had any walks. Well, that, that guy on the beach a little bit and in the morning but this poor guy was sleeping all the time I didn't want to disturb him so he never walked yesterday at all not venturing far away from the car cruised around there around there came back here yeah you wanna go to the home base up or, or what what's that yeah, you, uh, you really want to get into that hole, huh? Let's see. Ah, uh, getting dirty, huh? Do it from the... Yes! Finally, I see him drink from nature. Not from some uh, bowl. That was nice, first time. Right now it's uh, ferret walking time. Yeah, I gotta wake him up, uh, unfortunately, while well, Misha was awoken already. Where are you? Yeah, looking over there. He's ready to go, but instead of him, because he's already walking. Yeah, buddy, shortly. I'm gonna take Muscat, buddy. Well, platform. Oh, he's shivering. Yeah, because he was just warm over there, crawled up. 
And it is a little chilly this morning, see? The shivers. Yeah, yeah, I know. Too domesticated. Alright, get used to the cold and go for walks. Go, Muscat, go. Don't be shy. Ah, he's a little slow today. Maybe still waking up. Go, go, go. Go, guy. Go in here himself. Oh, 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 oh. No. No, no. Get out of here. Oh, man. You're dirty now. Ah, this guy just wants... Oh, my God. I'm gonna give him a bath. We don't like bath a whole lot, but problem with this guy, he wants to go into every freaking hole. Look at your face now. You're brown for it. Brown for it now. It's good. Wakey, wakey time. Wakey, wakey. Yes, yes. Let's do a little walks. Finally. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Do the poopy and stuff. Is the morning happy ferret muscat? Mwah. Let's go, go, guy. Pre-run here for a little bit. It's kind of nice platform here. I don't need to watch them really. Like when I pre-run, I can still like finish my cigarette, have some coffee, do whatever. And uh, they don't seem muscat definitely doesn't jump from that. Nisha initially on the trip. Right away he jumped off, but ever since I've been kind of like no 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 so It's like as soon as he's here inside he's not jumping so that's good I can have my little morning peace and quiet too while these guys are actually out uh, Yeah, and we're gonna go for walks. This guy has gotten pretty hot very quickly Just chilling here in the canopy So I poured a little bit of water So I wet where ah faces like this Sprinkling all over. Oh, lost him out of sight actually. Here you are. Yeah. Plan on altering this mansion. Just a little play fight on the trip. Muscat was sleeping, Misha came in, started biting gently. Yeah, that's how it started. I'll take care of this love nut. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hi, I'm Jessica. That's it. Real fight start. Well, not real, but you know. They're just playing. Lane no. and leaking. I'm one of the Indian people. That floppy old bag of money is gonna be dead in like a month. And who's going to come for Jessica and her millions of dollars? Yeah, Jessica's a gold digger, but I'm a gold digger. A little pre-run in the car first. Yeah. Yeah, little one. Come here. Mm. I woke them up. Very sleepy. Yeah, sleepy. I know. Mm. Stupid guys. But they haven't pooped right now, so or I don't know when was the last time, so I need to watch out what we do inside there. Never know. Mm? You don't want any water? Come on. Here. You guys ready for a little walks? Doing turns, huh? Yeah, although there's so many bushes here, gotta really keep an eye on you guys. And Scott, how are you doing? Yeah, chills. It's gonna be your turn soon. Uh, yeah, he's in a cage right now, but uh, this guy's his turn for uh, more prolonged walks. He's chill. He's just gonna cruise around, slow pace. It's okay. I guess because my car is white. Uh, it's actually very chill out there with open windows inside the cab and also inside canopy like as soon as you get in there it's like oh it's like you know chilly it's nice 
Uh, they're actually doing not bad there, like one sitting in the cage. It's definitely better than in the sun. There, he went into bushes there, and uh, I missed, uh, I missed him. So then, oh yeah, he's chilling in the shade. So then I ran there, and he was already deep, and it's all fur thorns in there. I couldn't reach him, so I kept calling like, come on, come on, come back, don't go deeper. And uh, yeah, he came out and kind of cruised around here in the base. How about we chill down Muscat? Let's go for swims. What I do when I give him bath is this, like a towel, like a sponge. I'm gonna actually wash him off with my little Soviet flag. All right, Musha's turn. For him, this is actually gonna be first time. A real swim. Hmm? Let's go. Actually, so skinny when they're wet. But last walkie time. Muscat first. Muscat always first. Elderly first. And then Musha. Maybe Musha will call, come down by then. Musha had his turn already. Poor Muscat. I think he wants to drink. I just woke him up and, like, here, go. Buddy, come into base. Come into base. Yeah. Chief Monk's checking out the sounds. Oh, this one's definitely bandit. But uh, Muscat reminds me of one of those cats that likes to, you know, sit by the window and just observe. He's like that. Yeah, he's just, he's been chilling like this for five minutes, not moving. Well, just checking out sounds. Yeah, just, just observing, just chilling. This guy already wants to do whatever. There you go. All you see is a butt. But as usual, gotta walk these guys. I think he had already enough runs right now. He's looking to, he's cruising the home base. He wants to go up, he wants to go in the shade, drink. Where are you? Yeah, yeah, he's chilling in the shade. Or maybe just let him lie down here in the shade a little bit. Yeah, what do you want? What do you want? You want into my hands? Yeah, that's how he... So, so cute, like, he's done it several times already at beaches. Like, coming to me, scratches on my leg, comes up like, Daddy, Daddy, let me go. Maybe uh, he wanted, like, to touch me as, a, as like, a home base, because now he wants to go. 
It's like I'm too far away from main base. Daddy, daddy, grab me. Oh, now I can run there. It's like a little pit stop. Pit stop grabs. Muscat. It's his turn now. Just uh, walking away for him to browse the ground. It's time for a little uh, ferry to walk at uh, the desert in the sunset. We were just sleeping and walk my mom. Here's something I've never done before. Actually, two of them at the same time. I mean, where, where are they gonna go? Where are they gonna go? Where are you guys gonna go? I know it's a little windy for you. It's okay, it's okay. You're true desert ferrets now. Yeah. A little cold for you all of a sudden, yeah? No, it's actually it's decently warm right now. It's very good, but uh, this guy just woke up. He wants to sit on a lap. He's like, what's happening? Oh, go to Moscat. <laughs> Very totally confused. Totally. Like, Misha is just going after me. Like, run! Come, come! Misha! Misha! Come! We're like, too much open space. What to do? Misha is just coming to me. <laughs> oh, okay. Run, run, run after me, run! Let's go. Let's go, guys. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go to base. Let's go to base. Base, 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 base. <laughs> totally following. They're like, oh man. This is the first time both of them actually following me. Come, 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 come. come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Da, 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 da. All right. Let's open up the lid. Ah, it's just a little messy. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Go. Ah, I gotta clean the place up a little bit. Oh, for watching sunset. Yeah. Hey, oh, you like to eat, huh? Usually I have dog treats in here, man. Let's see if I have any dog treats. He probably smells them on you. Oh, uh, I don't have any. It's all empty, dude. Joseph. Muscat. Hey, Muscat. So, I'll partake in this Olympia beer that I never tried. Hmm, it's actually, it's actually a nice lager. I was afraid it was gonna be hoppy. What's up, little guys? I had to wake them up right now, kind of save time. We run them here a little bit in the crib, and uh, while the episode is processing, and then I gotta quickly insert some music into another episode and uh, start processing that one and kind of pack up and uh, yeah, start uh, driving. Yeah, I walked a little distance from the car to them. Um, just to see where they're gonna... well, they recognize there is like big, attractive, shady spot. So they'll probably go to the car eventually. But good thing, no hawks to watch out for here. At least I don't see anything. You know, nothing out here, so... I can just let them roam a little bit. Hey buddy, how do you like desert? Desert? <laughs> Let's 
Muscat is venturing off. Muscat! Muscat! Idem, idem, idem. Yeah, he started venturing off, but uh, come on, follow me. Yeah, you went too far. Yeah, little guy. Don't know what to do. I'll smile to the camera. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. Yeah, if I'm tripping with ferrets again, ever on a long trip, I should buy like a little ladder. Because uh, look at this guy. He's trying to get up onto the base, either drink or eat or just in the shade. He's cruising. He keeps uh, trying to jump on tires and so on, but uh, he's like looking up. Come on, I want to go up. Got officially out, still sleepy. He was totally sleeping. Yeah, drink, drink little guy. Ah, I'm gonna walk in the grass here. Tons of space. Perfect. Come on, walk some more. It's okay. You got the whole field. Go. I had to put Mushe in a cage. Uh, whenever I walk Muscat, I put Mushe in a cage because uh, I can't trust him being up there. He may jump from the tailgate. Don't pre to pre-run these guys. Yeah. Don't lick your butt. But actually I need today to edit one of those big episodes from almost a week back because I'm so behind. Uh, problem is I'm starting to run out of space on my phone on both SD card and primary to even put these uh, clips on. So yeah, I, I kind of have to do it today. You know, I at this point I feel so lazy right now to do, do uh, episodes on the road. Maybe burned out a little bit from constantly like thinking about it, doing it. Uh, but yeah, I'll do that. And definitely uh, the remainder of episodes I'll be finishing kind of when I come back slowly. Quickly let two of them out at the same time. Well, I don't need to worry about this guy. But really, he's been cruising around the car pretty much all this time, doesn't even want to venture out. But this bandit. Come to say hi? Yeah? Oh, finally. Okay, that's gonna keep him for a while. According to last hole, this is gonna be a good 15 minute procedure. Until he digs so deep that I'm gonna see only his butt and I'm gonna grab him and take him. That's it, he found the mole hole. Yeah, that's it. Oh, finally you're gonna be preoccupied for a while. At this point, nothing matters to him. They're very persistent. Once they're set on something, it doesn't matter what you do, they want it. Sure, okay, yeah, dig. It's nice, nice. First time on this trip Muscat is digging. No? Go, dig, dig. Come on. Ah. But you started to dig. Don't worry, just dig. Dig up. As usual, pre-running ferrets here. Uh, Muscat I just grabbed. Poor guy, he still sleeps. That guy has been chilling for a while here already, he's ready to go soon. But I gotta watch this guy here. He may wanna poop somewhere because he just woke up. So I may need to quickly grab him. So, so far the whole trip there has been two accidents. Them pooping uh, over there. Well, I think it was uh, both times Muscat. Because Misha gets a little nervous, I can tell. 
uh, when he wants to poop I grab him right away and bring to the uh, back seat to their cage whereas Muscat I turn around I do something else I come back and there has been two poops here which is it's okay it's my fault for not paying attention and putting him right uh, time away but before I cook but uh, these guys need a little walk yeah especially you bandit huh? you are huh, you escaper shivering a little bit it's kind of chilly I'm not gonna let them right now walk in here just on the platform and uh, they can go back to sleep and stuff listen nothing at all not a single sound except occasional crow perfect perfect <laughs> 